I sneaker fam see me here back with another video and today I figured why not do something a little bit different um, I wanted to compare now that I have the three of the major um, Air Max one big bubble releases I wanted to compare to see if there was anything different um, I wish I could compare the 2014 pair to the 2024 pair but um, when I looked into grabbing those, they were stupid expensive, and there was only one used pair on GOAT. And, um, yeah, I wasn't paying that much money for a 10-year-old pair of shoes. So, but I do have um, the last three, like, really major um, big bubble releases. We have the um, OG Red pair right here. This released in 2023. Um... Just did a video on these not that long ago. Um, so doing a little bit of research on this pair. Um, I did find out that the reason why this pair was originally labeled a women's exclusive was that back when they released in 86, that it was a woman's exclusive. Um, I, know, I know for a fact that Nike took that label off. Um, but this was in women's only sizing, um, so it's went up to uh, I want to say like a women's 16, which is a men's 17 and a half, I believe, because this is a 13 and a half, and I wear a 12. So yeah, that would be a women's 16 would be a men's 17 and a half. Um, and then of course you guys know that I grabbed these. So I'm interested to see if between the three that there's any shape difference, especially from the 2023 pair to now. Um, this pair might be a little bit better to compare um, because that is women's sizing, but I guess we're going to find out whether or not there's even actually any real difference. Um, so this is the only pair also that has not been worn. Um, as you guys can tell, this is dead stock. Um, I definitely need a Volt shirt for this pair for sure. Um, but um, maybe try and find myself a Volt green Carhartt shirt or something to rock with these bad boys. But let's take a look and see if we can see any differences between the three. All right, sneaker fam. So here is the three pairs. Um, I don't really think that I see much, if any, difference. Um, the shape all looks kind of similar, um, so I guess there isn't going to be much of a difference here. Um, I do need to clean the red pair, as you can see. These were worn last time when there was some rock salt and stuff, so need to get that crap off of this shoe pretty quick before um, that stuff destroys the rubber. Um, but yeah, looks fairly similar. Um, I would have... I, Thought maybe the cuts were going to be a little bit different, but um, all leveled up. Seems like that they're all really similar, but um, great to have all three in the collection. I'm not sure if you guys can see any of the difference or not. Try and keep them lined up. Um, they don't look, if you look down the line, they don't really look like the cut's different. Everything seems to pretty much line up. So that's, I guess that's a good sign that shows that um, Nike's quality control things. I know that Nike's known for bad quality control, um, but um, definitely looks like they're using the same mold. So they all look really similar. They look really good. I think maybe the only difference is that on the two men's pairs, it looks like this um, suede, this um, artificial suede. Might be a little bit thicker on the toe, um, but really, I think that's the only thing that I could pick up because these two on the end, the two men's pair, looks really similar. Um, I think maybe that could be the only real difference that I see. Um, other than that, everything looks the same. The materials look really similar. Um, I actually feel like... Uh, maybe the, the fake suede that they have on here, um, it's different between the men's, the two men's pairs and the women's pairs. I feel like maybe this one's a little more soft 
And these two are a little more rough, like a little coarse, more coarse, I would imagine. But other than that, all of the grays seem really similar. Um, yeah, these are great shoes, man. I've worn, as you can see, except for the vaults, I've worn both the other two pairs and um, I've worn them for casual Fridays and they are very comfortable, easy to wear, just easy on the feet. That's the one thing I love about wearing comfortable shoes is that, um, you know, there's a lot of shoes out there that aren't very comfortable. Jordan 5s, um, 6s aren't very comfortable. Even 1s to a certain extent aren't very comfortable, but um, you wear something that's got this... Um, especially the big bubble, um, definitely easy to wear on feet all day long and not have to worry about your feet killing you. I know that Jordan 5s have air in them, but um, it's a basketball shoe, not a running shoe, so they're not very comfortable. But these bad boys right here are very comfortable, easy to wear, um, easy to enjoy wearing too. So um, I guess it's going to be the video. I don't really have much else to say because... I was kind of hoping that there'd be a lot more of a difference between the shapes, but um, it doesn't really look like it. I feel like maybe this tongue, the um, this tongue is a little, yeah, this tongue is fatter. It's a little bit different compared to. We'll just rock them like this. Um, then the one, even the red pair is the same. Um, now, could that be because I haven't worn this pair yet? Um, maybe, but I guess they're even stitched different. If you look at them, they are, there's definitely a difference in the tongue. So, um, that's an interesting feature. Not only because it's, um, volt on the inside, but it's definitely feels more padded. Probably and a little bit thicker. So, a major difference there. Just the tongue, but. Um, obviously that's not going to be enough to change the fit. I wouldn't think, but you never know. These might fit a little more tight because that tongue is, um, a little bit thicker. So keep that in mind if you're looking to grab this pair. I don't know what prices for these are, um, right now. The other two pairs aren't too bad. Um, so easily grab those. Um, but. Um, definitely look into that. Maybe I'll put some photos of StockX prices on here um, for my size. You know, I'll just do all sizes. But love this pair. This pair is so bright, so killer. Um, can't wait to put these bad boys on feet and break some necks with these. All right, guys, that's the comparison video. Um, hope you guys liked it. I thought there would be a little bit more of a difference, but I guess in the long term, I'm glad that there isn't. Um, the only thing that we found was that tongue... Um, on the Air Max Day pair is a little bit more padded and thicker. Um, so that's really good to see. Um, I guess that makes it easier to know whether or not um, you want to go for the Royal pair because sometimes I feel like when I go for a woman's shoe, I get a little leery on um, whether or not I should go up a full size. I guess up a half a size, a size, I guess it's almost two sizes really because they're a size and a half difference. Um, because I know that they probably re rely on the fact that women's feet are a little bit more narrow than a men, men's feet. Then. So um, should I go up two full sizes as opposed to just a normal size and a half? But I've rocked those Royals quite a bit and don't see any difference whatsoever. So that's good. Um, and I guess maybe a little nervous when I throw that Air Max Day pair on. Is that tongue going to make it a little bit thicker, make it a little more difficult to wear? It's kind of like SB Dunks do, that fat tongue, sometimes you need to go up a half a size. So I guess I'll find out when I throw those bad boys on feet. But I um, appreciate all of you guys. Make sure you like this video. Comment down below. Um, if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. We're on the road to 500. As soon as we get to 500, I'm going to bust in with a video. I've got a huge announcement for everybody. Um, let you guys know something very special will be on the way and we'll talk about that once we hit that goal of 500 um, So it's a huge milestone for me, I guess anyways um, So look forward to that and other than that man, I'll be out I'll see you guys on the next one. See you guys on Sunday for another video and remember like I always say your sneakers are made to be worn So wear them senior outs